cool thing about these workouts are we're incorporating a little bit of every trendy exercise program you've ever heard about. It's got the CrossFit component with the competition and the crowd, the crowd appeal. It's got the P90X with all the muscle confusion. It's got everything. Now, noticeably, when you look at these guys in pictures, they have very different bodies. They work out a little bit of a different way, but for the majority, it's the same. But you tend to have more definition over here. What do you do that makes that more defined? Just like those workouts that are Right there. Yeah, the obliques. So what happens is when you have a low body fat, you actually see what your body's like. Not everyone has a defined six pack, like that symmetrical six pack. My abs are kind of like scattered. Like I don't know if you can tell, but they're like all scattered. And my brothers are like perfectly symmetrical. You have to at least give yourself the opportunity to see what's down there. And some people it comes really easy. But the key is just to have a low body fat, and then you'll see the abs. These workouts are more for functionality. The key to seeing your six-pack is not doing ab workouts. It's gaining muscle and losing fat. But this, whenever you do get to see your six-pack, these, these workouts will make it look good and you'll be a lot more functional. Unbelievably engaging. I would give this more responsibility for like my abs showing than almost any other workout I've ever done. Especially when you can start lifting weights with it. And then when she starts getting too tired for seven and a half, we got the five for her. But the key of these, we also don't want her to be looking forward to that five or looking, knowing that's coming. We want her to do every one like it's the last one. She wants her knees to be high as possible. Once we start seeing those knees get tired again, we'll get rid of the five. Go with the air weight. The weight of gravity can be surprisingly heavy sometimes. And when you're doing these, uh -huh. how far should your arm be in this length? I would say wherever you feel strongest. You don't want your limiting, you don't want the arms to be the limiting factor, you want the abs to be. So you have to feel as strong as you can, possibly can, wherever that is for you. Wherever you feel the most support. So if you're swinging, you're going too heavy, is that right? Yeah. You don't want to be swinging, you're swinging, you're not doing that. It's like French cuisine, quality of requirement. There's, there's the competition here because she knows Diana is seven and a half pounds too, so she wants to outdo her, obviously. <laughs> and she knows we're watching her and you are watching her even more so. So maybe you should bring a camera to the gym next time you go. You might perform a little better. If you want to make it a little harder, try making a competition. I'll be the referee of this plank off and make sure they keep flat backs the whole time. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, go. Hanging around. What are you making for dinner? Uh, I was thinking about making a little chicken tortilla soup. That's nice. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, mom specially. It's great. Face off, the champion. If you look at the girls that are lifting weights, they're the ones. It's, I think the proof is in the pudding. So next time you go to the gym, take a look at that. And for the girls that are bulkier or bigger, those girls have been doing that for a really long time. That takes years and years to effort and usually testosterone and supplementation. So just stay away from the steroids and we'll mix up the workouts. This is not, I'm not giving you a workout to do for the rest of your life, just something to mix in there so you can become more functional. Emphasis on the fun. about high resistance and low reps. We're not trying to stick to one dogmatic approach to working out ever. So to burn ourselves at, out at the end of the workout, we're gonna do these throwdowns. She'll probably do about 30 or 40 of these. And I can mix it up too so I can work out her front of her abs, the side of her abs, her obliques, once again her hip flexors. It's a very holistic workout. And once she starts fatiguing or failing, pick me one more good time. Make her, make her kick you like three more good times until she really can't do it anymore. 
then you can then she can quit. Like now she's done. One more. You got more? Yeah. Okay. Stretch out that sore core. 